Well, yeah. So next trailer we want to talk about is another one that just dropped recently and is super in the news. It's uh, The Acolyte from Star Wars. I was seeing that this is like the most viewed trailer in like 24 hours for a Star Wars property that was like owned by Disney, which is which blows my mind because like episode seven exists like that trailer. So like, how did that beat episode seven? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this one, like you mentioned earlier, uh, it is it is getting pretty controversial or divisive. Polarizing. Uh, yeah, I think right now it's got more dislikes than likes on YouTube. I saw that um, too. Yeah, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, honestly, I I like this trailer. Um, I, I, I was saying for a long time that this was like the only show, uh, Star Wars show, that I think had like really good potential and right. had really yeah right um so yeah let's uh let's get into it um i loved i love seeing just in general this high republic era like i think i've wanted that for so long um I, i'm a huge fan of coruscant i think you guys know that if you watch star wars reviews from us and uh yeah we get a lot of that we get a lot of the jedi temple in this trailer um i love seeing like the different races of like little jedi like younglings um later on we even get like a jedi wookie in the trailer which is super dope um, right yeah and then um yeah i forgot that uh wow i'm forgetting her name um the actress who played trinity in, in matrix uh, no uh, oh yeah yeah i was yeah sh- i thought she looked familiar okay yeah i was like i was like oh she's perfect for star wars like i could see her immediately as a jedi um and she's got like she's a, a really jedi. You don't think so? I don't think she's a Jedi. I mean, she's wearing Jedi robes. So, mm, I'm not but I think she might be infiltrating the Jedi. Interesting. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see. We'll That's see. a good theory. Um, but she's got a very like really well like like she's got a really calm and like calculating like a like force ability to her. Like she's just she like she just knows what she needs to do and um yeah, I don't know. I, I I liked her. I liked her presence on mm-hmm. on the trailer. Um, but yeah, other Carrie than Ann that, Carrie Ann Moss. Carrie Ann Moss. There we go. Thank you. Um, I I think there's like we get a lot of like different like Jedi abilities in this trailer. So I think we're going to be seeing like a lot of creativity with Jedi abilities throughout the show. Um, yeah, I uh, like that. This is probably a mystery. I think that's pretty cool. We're not going to know like who this. Jedi killer is per se for a while. Maybe, maybe after like the first two episodes, we'll know. Maybe it'll be dropped at the end of the first episode. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have some more thoughts, but I, I want to hear. I want to hear what you have to say. So yeah, I, I I think I think I understand why people don't like this trailer. I yeah, I yeah, I, we'll I, I think I do, but I I do like this trailer. Yeah. Like I did, I. I'm a little disappointed because it's it's not quite the tone uh sure that I I thought that this was going but it is uh, it is in yeah. line with like other Star Wars things of late just not like Andor you know sure right and you know we got the poster that had like an unlit lightsaber and there's blood like behind blood it trail. yeah and yeah. so you know yeah, you're when thinking you, more gritty than that, right? Right. So when you watch this trailer, you're like, okay. I mean, so I'll say, I, you know, I thought the Ahsoka trailer looked great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought the Book of Boba Fett trailer looked great. I thought the Obi Wan trailer looked great, and I, yeah, I mean, just Star Wars always kills with the trailers. To be I just, uh, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Sure, I'm not sure. going to look at the Jedi Wookiee and be like, ooh, Jedi Wookiee is so cool. <laughs> because I'm nervous that it won't. Like, I feel like it's like, oh, right. that's a cool idea. And then it won't be executed. But I right. will say just by watching the trailer, I'm intrigued. I think there's yeah. parts of it that are cool. I'm interested. I like the mystery idea. I hope that it's not something that gets dragged out for the entire season. Um, and one disappointing thing mm-hmm. that I'm, I'm tired of 
that I can't believe that they are still doing is the director said it's going to be eight episodes. Yeah. And most of them are 30 minutes or yeah. less. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Fuck that. Like, I, I'm just tired of it. And it's it doesn't yeah. work. It just simply does not work. And they keep doing it. And uh, it, I don't know. I, I, they needed to be at least an hour or 45 minutes. I mean, I mean, they need to feel substantial. And I feel like if you like, honestly, those half an hour ones, I think are going to be like 25 minutes because you always have like a ton of credits. Um, so you're probably looking at like a three and a half hour, like total runtime for this so thing, which is like, not just yeah. make a movie, just do a movie. Right. Exactly. But Disney, I mean, like, you know, they, there was that report that like, you know, basically with Bob Chapek, they were, they were being like, like, just make as much content as fast as possible for Disney plus. Yeah. And it's just like, it's just like, I feel like you have this these was ideas. made during that time. So like, it's just sure. like the outcome. Right. It's like they have it. But I, at that point, I'm like, why don't you just cut it down to a movie? But yeah, no, I mean, but it's, it's probably not a movie budget, you know? So maybe it wouldn't like look as good in a theater. I, I don't know. Um, but like, just like a Disney plus movie then, you know? Yeah. I mean, that would, I mean, that, that is a strategy that like other streaming services are doing, just releasing movies straight to, I mean, and, and Disney's done that with Pixar movies. So, um, so yeah, I don't anyways, know. that's just a little, a little tangent off to the side. Besides yeah. that, uh, I think our main character who's going to be that acolyte, uh, she looks pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I I enjoy the uh, the, the multicolored lightsabers that are, and some fight that's going to go down. Yeah, the last shot was cool. I like the fact that yeah, you know they threw the lightsaber. There's a bunch of like seven lightsabers <laughs> and they all yeah. run and yeah, no, that's dope. I like that a lot. Uh, I I would love to see a full on. You know, obviously we're not going to get anything as big as like the end of episode two, but like just multiple lightsabers going at each other. I'd love to see that. Um, I mean, I, I would settle for a, a Phantom Menace fight, you know? Oh, sure. I mean, we're not going to get anything close to that. But I mean, you know, but I, what I am hoping for is I really hope they don't butcher the choreography because like to me, it's it's like it's all been excusable like for 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 what we've seen from Star Wars because everything that we've seen Disney put out is past episode three. And I think when you go back in time, like I know this sounds weird, but like if you don't know Star Wars, but like the lightsaber fighting is is just a it's a refined art back then. And, you know, obviously like the what we saw from episodes one through three was just a more advanced style of fighting than anything we had seen past that. And so I'm really hoping we get at least like a taste of of what we got in the prequels. Um, because that is, I mean, that's truly some of the best fight scenes, yeah, I've ever seen. Um, so, yeah, hoping, hoping we get that. But yeah, getting into hopefully, the, yeah. But yeah. could you make the argument that since this is a hundred years beforehand, the art, st the fighting style has not been refined enough? We haven't gotten no, to that point. There's yet. no way that like the peak was at the very end. There's no way that was the case. I don't know. I to me, Yoda Yoda has that barely is... aged in a hundred years in my eyes. So he's gonna be like a crazy fighter still. Like he's probably gonna, gonna be even better than what he was at the end of episode three. So I don't know. Is Yoda supposed to be during this? I mean Yoda's nine hundred years old at the end of episode six. Okay. So yeah, he's he's I mean he should be the the leader of the Jedi Council. I mean is what okay. he is what he should be. Um so I hope we see him. I don't think we saw him in the trailer at all, right? Um, I don't know. I yeah. don't think so. It'd be nice to see Yoda. I, I would love that. Hopefully he's not just away on some mission for the whole time. Right. That, that would kind of suck. Um, but yeah, getting into the the stuff that's been divisive, though, I think people are have been very worried that this is like breaking canon in some way. I don't know if you've seen that online. But basically, no, I haven't seen that, no. Yeah, there's this like there's this line in the, in the prequels where they're like, they, we haven't seen, um, like there hasn't like been a Sith scene in like, like a thousand years or like in a millennium basically. Ah, and, right. and so everyone's like, 
okay, so everyone who sees this red lightsaber at the end has to die because no one can no one can go into the future knowing that a Sith was around. But I think what people are, and I think I've seen people respond with this kind of this type of response. But in the trailer, there's this there's a specific line where I can't remember exactly, but it's like it's not it's not about the good and the bad. You know, it's like to me that that shows it's like it's not about the Jedi and the Sith. But maybe it's somebody who's like more of a like force elitist who is killing Jedi who they don't believe deserve to use it. I think that's possible. And I think you can use the dark side of the force without having to be a Sith and and use it for your own, you know, benefit with your own objectives. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's my theory i'm not saying it's a way around it but i just i just think that's that's probably the case you know it, i don't think it is going to be a sith it it could be yeah. um not gonna lie if it's not a sith it 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 does make me feel a little less uh excited about it uh, why though i think you could have a really cool villain character <laughs> who just wants to kill people who are, are unworthy you know yes but the um uh, and i'm not saying I, I will I'll try my best to put expectations at the door, but I'm just saying that the premise of this show mm-hmm. for the most part has been dark side user, if not explicitly said like Sith. And it's a part of Star Wars that would be interesting to see from that perspective. Yeah. And so I, I get now, that. here's the thing. It, right. they they might break canon. It's been done before with fucking, you know, Obi-Wan rescuing Princess Leia. Sure. But I, and I just we're think like, it's I think I think it's it's fine to believe like the wide of like a like a majority of, of Jedi were like naive to there being Sith. Like I think it's it's possible that they're like they that there could have been a Sith before, like Palpatine and whatnot, but we just didn't they just didn't know about it, right? I mean there was um, Plagueis. Right, and they didn't know about Plagueis, um, but I, I just think if like if you have a Sith user like directly fight like a bunch of Jedi, and then like somehow this doesn't get back to Yoda, and he doesn't hear about it, and like I don't know, I just think it it can get a little muddy. I think, and I think it would be safer to not have that person be a Sith. Maybe it would serve the story better for that series, but I don't know if it would serve the wide, wider story of Star Wars better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I would also say, like, I feel like th- this whole uh, this whole series, you would learn how, like, possibly how a lightsaber turns red. And I mean, I feel like if I feel like you might be right, but. Yeah. I feel like for the general public, they're like under the assumption that right, red equals Sith, right? Which most of for the, the time most part it, it has, is. right? Yes. Yeah, so, right. no, I feel you. Um, I mean, the closest thing we got recently was with uh, Balin, Balin school, right? you know, and yeah, that wasn't right. even red. That was just like a like deep or- orange, a, right? Yeah, which was cool. I love that. Which yeah. was cool, but. Uh, <sighs> Damn, I hate that we're not going to get to see his character, Ray Stevenson's character anymore. It sucks. Well, somebody else will play him. Yeah, I know, I know but it's, it's a I shame know. it's not him anymore. I know. Yeah. 